Hey guys, how are you doing? Andre and Tommy from Tomela Studio here. So we had this sad little corner in our hallway that was just begging for a makeover. Now I stumbled upon an abandoned oak desk that uh, had no drawers. I couldn't give the fancy upgrade or anything so I just had to get a little crafty. I used the top part to create a cute little shelf above the radiator and then my plan was to make some kind of a cover for it. As I didn't have the scraper and I'm never very patient regarding something that I want to do. Uh, I mean, if, if I want to do something, I have to do it now, not later. Otherwise, I just won't do it. Um, I found this piece of metal file that sh I sharpened a little bit and it was working just fine. After scraping off all the varnish, I got to sanding. Thank goodness I had my little helpers by my side. We rough sanded then fine sanded and the wood started to look much better. Now all I had left uh, to do was unscrew a few screws from the bottom part of the desk and I ended up with a stunning oak board without spending any money on it. Next up was uh, this piece of the bed that someone chucked out. Um, it had a metal frame and some hardwood slats. Um, I thought, well, this could be the perfect finishing touch for the radiator cover. So I whipped out my screwdriver and uh, got to work removing all the screws. Then me and my buddy Tommy filled any holes in those wooden slats. Now. I gotta be real with you guys, uh, I had never used a two-part filler before and boy did I struggle to get the consistency right. It was like a race against time, first it was setting too quickly, then not at all. But we pushed through and got it sorted in the end. After the filler dried, we started sanding again. The kids helped me a little bit, but let's be honest, their attention span didn't last very long. So I ended up doing most of the work myself. Now after all that sanding it was finally time to give everything a fresh coat of white paint. Three coats later and everything was looking pristine. With all the measurements and calculations done uh, I marked the wall and drilled the holes for the shelf brackets. I probably could have used a hammer for the wall plugs, but uh, why craft my lazy soul for searching for one? So I improvised and used a screwdriver instead.
cut the piece I needed from the top of the table and everything fit perfectly. Tommy double checked everything because, you know, we are perfectionists here. Then I sanded the edge of the shelf to get it flush with the wall. I also cut a thin piece to attach to the front of the shelf, creating a nose. I just wanted to make the shelf look thicker. Now, I don't own any fancy tools for drilling dowel holes, so I said, screw it, and I used screws instead. Besides, no one's gonna see them from the bottom, so it's all good. To secure everything in place I whipped out some wood glue and let it dry overnight. Some more sanding and the shelf was uh, almost complete, uh, just needed to drill some holes for the screws. To protect the wood, uh, I coated it with some Osmo Satin Oil. At this point Tommy came over to check on my progress. I used this uh, metal piece from the bed frame that I mentioned before. The purpose of this was uh, basically to hold the radiator cover in space, uh, as you will see later in the video.
Now on to the radiator cover construction. Uh, I did some math to figure out uh, the numbers of slots needed and marked their positions uh, on the top and bottom parts. Then I got to drilling two holes at the top and two at the bottom. As you can see here, I had to make a cut on the lower part of the cover because um, the radiator was uh, sticking out a little and uh, the cover wouldn't be flush with the wall. Then I carefully attached all the screws, uh, making sure I don't go through the wood. Finally, I painted the wall. Uh, we decided to use the same color as the wardrobe uh, we did in our last video, so it all matches. It took three coats to completely cover the white wall. Here you can see how easily I can insert or remove the cover without any tools. And here is the final result of our epic DIY project. I have to say I'm quite happy with the results. Not only does it hide that ugly radiator, but it adds um, a touch of class and luxury to our space. And the best part, uh, it didn't cost us a penny. Except for the paint we already had. So thanks for watching and if you want to see more of our crazy projects, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.